my E2 pay. And this is where I knew I messed up. My E3, I just demoted myself. Hey guys, it's Kristen Legs, Kristen with the long legs. I'm obviously sitting here on an island back with another long legs production. You see my fan? Because I'm back and I'm back and back and I'm back. Now I bought this dry erase board because I. Ah! You know how when people hit the whiteboard, not the whiteboard, the chalkboard, and like that scratching noise like makes you cringe inside? My fingernail hit this, whatever this like fake metal thing is. Focus. Welcome back to my subscribers. Welcome to new subscribers of my video. I hope you guys like it. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe down below. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you really should. I'm going to save you some money. I'm going to help you out. I got you. But anyway, welcome back to my subscribers. I make videos about military guy stuff, Christian stuff, advice, vlogs, travel, yes, all that. But today, Today's video is going to be on budgeting and how I budget my my E2 pay. My E3. I just demoted myself. I seen the two stripes, but you always got to carry the one when you see the stripes on the Air Force thing. Anyway, so I roughly make, you guys can look at the pay charts. Um... Pretty much my paychecks are, wow, quick math, $741 every two weeks, which is not bad, seeing as I do not have to pay for food and I do not have to pay for my living area. And so there's actually a way that you can get your meal, your BAS for your meal, but that's only if you're like a shift worker and you miss the defect times and I have normal office hours, so I gotta eat the food in a defect. Anyway, so I make $741 every two weeks. And then, so let's say I'm doing the budgeting for the first half of January. So let's do tithes and not even include offerings. Because the offerings varies. Why well, I'm really out here doing math math. That's wild. Alright, so six sixty seven is mine. And then minus like what I give to God for tithes. Not tithes, I already said tithes for offerings. And then let's say this is the first month, not the first month, the first quarter, not the first quarter, the first half of this month. Wow, just breaking everything down. So the first half of this of the month, I pay like $75 at most for my phone bill. And that's me paying $30 every month for 30 months for my iPhone X 10. And then for the unlimited plan that I share with my mother, and if I didn't share with my mother, it would still be that much. But I got that 25% off military discount. So, pop in. So now I have $592 left. Well, I really want to show you guys, but this thing won't let me be great. Alright, and then what else do I have to pay for? Gas. I don't be driving around that much because I don't like driving at night. And I don't go that much, but... We'll say I spend twenty dollars on gas each week, even though I just filled up yesterday for eighteen. So minus setting aside the twenty that I'm gonna spend on gas for the next two weeks, because I really don't be going nowhere like that. I don't be driving. I don't like to drive. And then, oh, I have a credit card bill that I have to pay for, and we'll say that I'm paying more than what it actually is. So now, I am at 542, and then let's say I have student loans to pay for, which I don't, because I finesse the system. <laughs> I'm just great. I'm a G. I'm a GOAT. It's 542, because I finesse the system. No, I'm just kidding. If you guys watch my other video, I'll link it up here. I can show you guys, or link it down below, because I'm not actually, I'm not going to put the card in. It takes too long to be looking at the video to see where I put it in the thing to keep it above. So I'm going to put it down there to save you above. Okay. And um, show you how I did that, how I pay zero for student loans. And then... I don't be paying for nothing. Oh, car insurance. But I was like, what the heck? I don't even think my car insurance is... 
No, I put my car insurance on a different bill than my uh, car payment so I wouldn't be hurt all in one paycheck. So my car insurance is currently 100 monies, which is not that bad. Oh, we don't get, we don't get that much money. So I'm broke. <laughs> I only have 442 left, which is actually a lot from the 741. It's only $300 left from taking away from stuff. I don't be paying that much for Nathan. I'm out here living a good life. What else do I have to pay for? I really had to go look at my budget and see what else I pay for. And it's nothing. But let's say like there's random like expenses. Like I went to someone's graduation party, which is minus $30. So now I'm at 412 and then let's say my little sister has a birthday thing. The gift that she wants from me is $12. So I have a whopping $400 left over each month if I stay, if I stick to this budget. And that's not including the offerings that I give. Got to make that clear. That is the Lord's money. Um so yeah. In the in the Air Force like you really unless you out here while and like always spending it on food or always going out every single weekend i just turned 21 well i'm always about to turn 22 i'm not telling y'all when my birthday is i don't tell nobody but um i've seen how expensive drinks are when you go out and i'm not about that life like i'm not paying that much i'm not paying ten dollars and you can get a whole thing for ten dollars y'all not about to finesse me y'all not about to finesse me anyway um so yeah, unless you're out here just like recklessly, recklessly spending, like buying crazy stuff, you should always have money left over. Like this money is going towards, um, right now we're doing the millennial offering at church. So uh, I've been asking the Lord to let me press into his presence. So I had three paychecks, no four ish, three plus I had some extra set aside for something else. So really three and a little change. Set aside a thousand dollars and put our faith in God. People who are non-believers or are weak in their faith or will not understand that. Even if you're not weak in your faith, some people might just, might just not understand that. But I know God's calling for my life. And I know this seed is being sown into something greater into my life. So I have no real concerns whatsoever. Like the God I serve is a God of multiplication. So I'm I know I'm coming back in ten, a hundredfold. So I'm not concerned about that. But aside from that, even if I was given three hundred dollars, I still got a hundred dollars left. And it's not every month. It's only for one. It's only affected three of my paychecks. And I'm not going out buying nothing anyway. So it's not really, it's, it's really not that bad. But putting this stuff aside, so you're putting this into your savings or random incidents that happen like this $400 is now also another $100 that is can get deducted because my um, one of the wheels on my car is the metal is showing the metal threading i don't know the guys who watch the videos you can explain that i like want my tire now because my tires were not aligned correctly and um they were like yeah you got to bus out 254 right now so we can fix your car and i was like it's your go ahead fix young coconut i gotta get to and from work but other than like the random stuff that's why you should always have money set aside you you should be taking in like 400 every month 300 400 every month because I know my um oh but then that doesn't affect it so like 300 every month no wait 400 every month like I just said and I know I'm putting a hundred and fifty and that's not even 400 every month that's 400 every paycheck uh, so 800 every month so you put down a thousand a month like and I automatically already have stuff going to my thrift savings plan so I'm already getting money going to me um for when I get out of the Air Force to either go into that pot of like, when I retire, either if I retire out of the Air Force, that's gonna be like in a pot somewhere. Or if I get out at the end of my contract, that's gonna be in a little pot somewhere and it's growing and it's collecting interest. So that's already like getting taken out of my, every single paycheck that I have. So like, I'm balling. Like when people say, I see now like white people, you going for those military people because we low key really got money like, I'm not paying for Nathan at all. That's why I got so much money left over. Mm. Another thing that I, that like throws off my random thing of finances, 
I'll show you guys one more time if you can see it because there's like this weird glare. Um, I'm going to Japan in September to visit my friend Clistafani. And I need to save up money. So I have a few months and I'm putting like 150 aside every paycheck so I can go. And I feel like that's not that much. I could be spending it on like clothes and food and other random stuff when I have extra money I could already be spending on clothes and food and stuff and still have stuff that I'm saving over so it's like it's really not that bad so yeah that's what I do with my e3 pay not no e2 pay gave myself a freaking I reduced my rank that's wild no y'all can how y'all pay bro I like the pay that I get even though I want some more. But that is the end of the video. That is how I pretty much budget my, for the first half of the month, my bills and stuff, and how I still have stuff left, left over. How I still have stuff left over. So I'm able to either save that or spend it or do whatever I want to with it, but it is very possible. And even though I still have this budget I'm going to, we have a free service on base at the Airman's Family and Readiness Center, AFRC. And someone there, um, we get it for free because we're military members. They have it on base specifically for us. But I know that other places you have to pay for stuff like this um, to get them to like budget and like show you like how you need to invest your money and everything. And we get it for free, so I'm taking advantage of that. And they're gonna help me like budget my money um, so I can have like a little savings pot left over just in case I need it or if I want to put something to the side or I don't know. I'll see when I do it and I'll let you know about it then. But other than that, um, that's just how I budget my money. The with the pay that I get. Y'all, also, if I'm getting underpaid, let me know. Because I know, like, North Carolina has state tax, but I changed my resident, I changed my residency to New Mexico. I can't speak today whatsoever. So, if I'm getting gypped, let me know. Like, help your wingman out. Like, if you see these videos and you in the military, help me out, bro. Anyway, um, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, download, turn that notification bell. That's on this side. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, critiques, you can slide into my Instagram DMs and I will respond to you hopefully within a week because I be busy and I don't have Instagram on my phone all the time because I don't need to be distracted with all that stuff. And now it's time for the end of the video prayer because it's the end of the video. No, I'm going to do an end of the video scripture. All right, so the end of the video scripture, I have it on here because the Bible's on my camera. The Bible's on my phone and my Bible that is my physical Bible is in there and I'm not getting up. I just wrote it all out because I feel like that would be faster even though it wasn't. So it's James 2, 9 and it says, but if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as lawbreakers. And the verse above that said, love your neighbor as yourself. Then it says, but I could have just read both of them, but I just wanted to do one verse, but I wanted to give you context of this verse. I should have read both of them. Anyway, so what this means to me is this is like very... This convicted me a lot because I'm talking to God and I'm like, God, let me do your will, like have your way, like show me the people that you want me to uh, talk to and like share the gospel with or talk to about anything that you need me to talk to them with. And it's like, at first I was going toward like, ooh, that person like looks like me or I like this person, like I'll go do this person because I want to, but it's like, I shouldn't be doing it because I want to, I should be doing it because that's what God wants like. God has certain stuff in place like I need to be listening to his will and his way and being obedient as his, as his child so I'm not sinning and convicting and convict and yeah and convicted yes by the law as a lawbreaker because I know my favoritism is getting in the way of me sharing the gospel of Christ like why would I do that like why if I have great information to share with someone why would I keep that away from them because they don't look like me like that's not fair to them so why would God who already died for us and who died for us before he died for us like because there was a maybe he didn't die like for certain people because certain people would be saved he died for everybody and everybody sins so who am I to like be like, oh, I'm going to like let you know about the gospel and I'm not going to let you because I have this favoritism toward that person and this favoritism not toward that person. God died for everybody. God died for the people who I don't like and the people who I'm like praying about, like trying to get my heart right with them. That's where that goes. Okay. Trying to get my heart right with them. Um, so I need to be sharing this to everybody and showing God's love to everybody so I can be a good ambassador for Christ. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that made sense. 
I love you guys. Peace be with you. This is Kristen Legs. Kristen the Long Legs. Signing out. Bye. Bye, guys.